the melting points of some organic compounds are given in the table below and then the first question at uh, 3.1.1 is saying that to which homologous series does the above compounds belong to so let's look at how the names are ending right so you can see that uh, compound a O N E that's a ketone, O N E that's a ketone, ketone and ketone. So all these compounds uh in our table uh they belong to the ketone as uh, the ketone series, right? And then uh the next question 3.1.2 says uh the melting points of compound A, B, and C are compared. Uh so we have A B and C, right? Uh, we're comparing um, the melting points of those compounds. I write down the control variable for this comparison. So the control variable is what we keep the same, right? It's what makes uh, the comparison fair, right? If you look at A, B, and C, you will realize that we have ketones, right? But they not only do we have ketones, but they are all straight chain, right? So our control our variable for this comparison uh, is the fact that uh, we're using a uh, straight chain, uh, straight chain uh, ketone, right? Uh, that's the variable we control in there. And then um, 3.1.3, the melting points of compound C and D are compared. Uh, fully explain the difference in the melting points of these two compounds. So we're looking at compound C and D. So compound C says uh, pen 10 uh, to O and E, and then compound D. Uh, so this is C, and the compound D we have 3 uh, dash methyl. Uh, butan, uh, O and E. They're all ketone. What does that tell us? That tells us that we have, uh, London forces, uh, in all of them, right? So in C and D, uh, we have, uh, London forces. London, uh, forces. Yeah. And then as you can see, uh, they will have the same molecular formula, right? But then, uh, compound D, Compound D has a branch. Compound D has a branch, right? Uh, is branched unlike uh, compound C. If compound D is branched, then uh, we're gonna require uh, less energy, less energy uh, to overcome to overcome uh, the intermolecular forces uh, in D, right? Compared to to C compared to C, right? As a consequence of that compound D, right? So compound D will have a lower melting point, will have a lower uh, melting point, right? Now let's move to uh, 3.2. So 3.2, the first question here, 3.2.1 saying, let's define the term vapor pressure, right? And yeah, as always, I'm just gonna leave that for you. And 3.2.2, let's write down a suitable conclusion for this experiment, right? For this investigation, I mean. Let's look at what's happening here. So we have uh, the table below shows the results obtained from an experiment to determine the vapor pressure of different straight chain primary alcohols at 300 uh, kelvins, right? And then uh, we have the alcohols uh, going down uh the length of the chain is increasing right c c2 c3 and so on and then as the length of the straight chain increases uh it seems like the vapor pressure is going down right that's what we can see from uh the results from the investigation so what would be a suitable conclusion for this experiment as the length of the straight chain primary alcohol increases the vapor pressure decreases as the length of the straight chain primary alcohol increases the vapor pressure decreases now let's do 3.2.3 .3. so 3.2.3 .3 is saying that um let's write down the upec name of the alcohol with the highest boiling point so now the question is how does vp relate to bp right how does vapor pressure relate to the boiling point right so this is how it works uh the lower the vapor pressure the higher the boiling point the higher the vapor pressure the lower the boiling point so since here we're looking for 
uh, the highest boiling point, we have to look for the lowest vapor pressure. And then the lowest vapor pressure is this last alcohol that we have here. We have uh, C6H13OH, right? So we're looking for the name of that alcohol right so uh, the name of this alcohol if it's straight chain uh, we're gonna have exen one all uh, and the last question 3.2.4 so 3.2.4 here is saying the experiment is now repeated at 320 kelvins will the vapor pressure of each compound increase decrease or stay the same will the vapor pressure of each compound increase decrease or remain the same please let me know in the comments uh which answer you chose between increase decrease or remain the same and i will pin uh, the correct one